So why are these maps drawn up? How is this information used? What does it mean to a property owner? The flood hazard maps are something that's used at the local, state, and federal level to track where flooding is likely to occur. Uh, we try to use that floodplain mapping to regulate development. We don't want to have people develop in the floodplain or we want to make sure if they develop, it's something that it's okay if it floods occasionally. Sometimes those are parks or parking lots, for example. The other thing is we use that to, um, if there is property that has a federally backed mortgage, we'll use that to indicate where the property owner would need flood insurance. And so that's why these maps are also called flood insurance rate maps. So again, it's another mechanism to regulate if you're in a floodplain, your property is in a floodplain and you want to build there, there's an insurance requirement then if you're using federally backed mortgage to get that flood insurance. We encourage people to get flood insurance regardless. It's a good thing for people to do even if they're not in a floodplain, but that's one of the other regulatory um, processes we use for these. We use these to help guide development because what we want to make sure is when people invest, they're investing in an area that's not likely to be flooded or that it's protected by something like our flood alarm levy system. Right. And then uh, in general, just kind of in summary, the, the changes that are being proposed um, uh, uh, signifying or recognizing improvements that the city has made with regard to stormwater detention, retention issues. So properties are going to be coming off. Can you? Right. The maps that we had developed um, initially do show some floodplains that flood areas that really aren't going to exist because we've invested in the Carter Road Detention Basin, the West 32nd Street Detention Basin, improvements to the uh, Lower B Branch and the 16th Street Detention Basin. So based on those improvements and certification or flood wall and levy system, the Iowa DNR is proposing flood maps that would remove areas such as Kaufman Avenue and areas around Comiskey they would no longer be in a floodplain. And we feel this really truly more ref accurately reflects the safety of the provided by that flood wall levy system as well as those improvements in stormwater management that I mentioned.